Hey guys, it's Michael. Today is Monday, July 20th, 2020, and this is your late in the day update for what is going on in the world with your money. In today's video, we're going to go over how Trump announced he's reviving the virus daily briefing as cases continue to surge. He announced this earlier today. Then we're going to get into House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and what she said in an interview earlier this morning with MSNBC's Morning Joe, what she said about the second stimulus package and what has to be included moving forward. And finally, we're we're going to get into another interview that took place earlier this morning with Senator John Barrasso, a Republican senator from Wyoming, who told CNBC that the GOP aims to craft a recovery rather than a stimulus bill in the next round. But before we get started, if you're interested in staying up to date on what is going on in the world with your money, well then please be sure to like the video down below and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when new videos come out. Also, don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below and get $5 immediately when you download the Acorns investing app. Anyways, let's get right into it. So Trump announced earlier today that he's reviving the virus daily briefing as cases continue to surge all across the country. President Trump said on Monday that he is bringing back this daily virus briefing that he halted earlier in the year in April. And by doing so, he's showing that the public health crisis that he once said was long gone and was already behind us, that things are starting to get worse and it is still very much a prominent issue in the country. With cases and deaths on the rise, Mr. Trump told reporters that he would probably hold the first of the new series of briefings on Tuesday this week at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. He attributed his decision to revive the daily briefings, not to the increase of the threat of the virus and because of the increase in the number of cases, but because of the fact that briefings had high television ratings. He said it's a great way to get information to the public as to where we are with the vaccines, with therapeutics, and with everything related to the virus virus in general. So comment down below what you think about him bringing back this daily virus briefing. If you think it is because TV ratings or if you think it is because the virus is getting worse and it is more of a threat. I'd like to see what you guys think. Moving on, reacting to the reports of the second stimulus package, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said in an interview earlier today on MSNBC's Morning Joe, she said that what we heard over the weekend that the White House was thinking about no more testing in the next relief bill. She said that goes beyond ignorance. It's just beyond the pale. She says they have to include money for testing in the next package. She said we have to end the virus and any attempt by the White House to block money for testing for coronavirus for, for, for testing goes beyond ignorance. She said on Monday that she hopes the White House will back down on blocking new money for testing for vaccine developments because in the next relief bill, because she explains that we need this money in order to help accelerate the process for finding a vaccine, for keeping everything under control with the virus. Next up on Monday, Senator John Barrasso, a Wyoming Republican and a third ranking member of his caucus, he told CNBC that the GOP aims to craft a recovery bill rather than a stimulus bill. What he means is he said senators will focus on whether the plan will help people get back to work, get kids back to school, and whether it will help save lives by supporting testing, treatment, and vaccine development. He says the main goal of this next stimulus package is to ensure the recovery of the economy and help us continue along the path to a V-shaped recovery. He said the risk of not having kids go back to school is much higher than the risk of them going to school. He said right now we need to make sure kids can go back to school. One, because kids need to be educated, they need to attend school. The second reason is because it'll help the economy in general. If kids go to school, well then their parents can find jobs to work during the day. If kids don't go to school, well then a lot of parents struggle with child care and what to do with their children while they're at work. We're also called for flexibility for states and municipalities in how they use the money that they've already received from the previous stimulus packages. He explained how they've already received billions of dollars and they want to make sure that they can use it for whatever they need in order to help them recover from the pandemic. He wants to make sure that this money isn't restricted to certain aspects and they can use it wherever they need it. He goes on to echo other Republicans in arguing that they should do away with the $600 per week stimulus payments, these unemployment benefits, because many people make more money at home than they do by going to work. He said to me that that would be a heavy wet blanket on the economy. He said about extending the unemployment benefits. He says it would simply hold the economy 
back because then people would not choose to go to work because they're making more money at home. One thing to keep in mind though is that a lot of Republicans are talking about reducing these unemployment benefits from $600 a week to more around $200 to $400 per week. So they all agree that that needs to be reduced, but not necessarily to get rid of them altogether. He said that before anyone leaves Congress though, ultimately they will come to a consensus on a second stimulus package. He says they're not leaving for the August recess until they come up with another bill. So this is really good news. He said they will come to a consensus before the August recess. And finally, Josh Bivens, director of research at the Economic Policy Institute, he estimates that this ending the $600 per week payments outright would severely reduce the GDP of the country, reduce spending in households, and cause economic turmoil moving forward. He said that the enhanced unemployment benefits, the $600 per week and $2,400 per month payments are good economics and good health policy as many Americans face the choice of unsafe work or poverty. He says it's just a necessity moving forward. They need to extend these in some manner to help out millions of people who no longer will have a source of income once they expire at the end of July. So anyways, that's just a quick update on what is going on today on Monday, July 20th, 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull investing app. Get $5 when you download the Acorns investing app. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.